earlier I mentioned, uh, the very many friends and the great inspiration that I have found through TGI Network. And I am thrilled to count the next award recipient as both a friend and an inspiration. A non-binary trans man and healthcare activist, Samson Hampton travels between Rhode Island and Washington DC fighting to save healthcare and disability rights. He is an organizing activist and advocate with Center for Popular Democracy and Housing Works Incorporated and the disability rights group ADAPT. Locally, he's an alum and former employee of Youth Pride and he volunteers with us at TGI Network. It is my distinct pleasure to present this 2018 Empowerment Award to Samson Hampton. I also have a citation for you from Congressman Cicilline. And it says, the Honorable David N. Cicilline, 1st Congressional District, Rhode Island, Certificate of Special Recognition presented to Samson Hampton. In honor of your recognition at the first annual Empowerment Breakfast for Transgender Day of Visibility, thank you for improving the lives of transgender Rhode Islanders through your advocacy and commitment to the community. I extend my sincere congratulations and best wishes. Thank you all for being here today. I am truly humbled to receive this award. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, I am a medically complex person that uh, about a year ago um, was facing uh, losing my insurance that would pay for my life-saving medication. And so I decided to go to Washington, D.C. and uh, participate in direct actions to fight to save uh, health insurance for over 10 million Americans. Um, and I got arrested for the first time in my life. Um, and uh, that would not be... <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. Um, that would not be the last time I got arrested. Um, over the next year, um, I uh, continued to go down and participate in direct actions, and uh, not only uh, did I uh, protest and yell and get dragged away, uh, well actually rolled away because uh, when I travel I use a wheelchair, um, but uh, I also sat down and lobbied with politicians and explained to them that if you vote for this bill you will literally be killing me and other Americans like myself. And they still voted for some of those. Some of those politicians still voted for for those bills, um, but um, we managed to uh, save the ACA. Um, and uh, I continued to um, I continued to go down to D.C. and also fight for. Uh, protection, protecting the ADA, um, which has come under scrutiny, um, and uh, I have recently uh, gotten word that both Senator Whitehouse and Senator and and Senator Reid um, have signed on to Senator Duckworth's bill, um, uh, tell it, telling Senator McConnell that they will not support any legislation that will hurt the ADA, um, which. I think is Which I think, which I think is 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 progress. Um, but what I would like to talk more about is how you guys can get more involved in the community. Um, and the first way, I'd like uh, the first thing you can do is get more involved in TGI. Um, over the summer, we'll be having social events. Um, we have a picnic that's coming up that. Uh, I look forward to every year. It's a great social event. Um, we also have lots of support groups that we're running. We're starting a non-binary support group that's going to be starting soon. 
Um, and so we have lots of things going on and we are looking for board members, uh, which I'm personally considering. Um, so I think you should too. Um, and um, I have also uh, recently joined the LGBT uh, Action Network of Rhode Island, uh, which is a group that works on legislative policies regarding the LGBT community in Rhode Island. Um, we recently worked on the uh, Respect and Death Bill that Ethan was talking about earlier. Um, I was one of the people that was at the State House until uh, around 11.30 at night. Um, one of my parents was at the State House as well, um, and they testified for the first time. Um, and I'm very proud of that. Um, and then something that some of you may not have heard of um, that I um, participate in is something called the Poor People's Campaign, um, which is run by someone named Reverend William Barber. And uh, what it's doing is when uh, about 50 years ago, uh, coming up on Thursday when MLK was assassinated, he was working on, on something called the Poor People's Campaign. Um, and unfortunately was not able to continue that because he was assassinated. And Reverend Barber is continuing that work. Um, and we are uh, continuing that work. Um, and it's something, for, it's something that you can get involved with and it's something you can get with involved locally here in Rhode Island as there are over 40 states that are getting involved with. And um, you can look that up on Facebook, the Poor People's Campaign Rhode Island. Um, it's something easy that you can look up to get involved with. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do to get involved in the community here. And I just want to thank you all for being here today.